Oh, God. The Pritz, Pritzker Neuropsychiatric Disorders Research Consortium. Yep. You see all these you know, people on board. University of Michigan, Stanford, Hudson, Alpha, Cornell, um, University of California at Irvine. Yeah, so uh, just so people realize, though you won't be able to find this because uh, they scrubbed it. Uh, but this came out a couple years ago. I, I think it was leaked about Tom Pritzker being on Jeffrey Epstein's flight logs, and he's in his black book as numero uno. But then the judge released a bunch of names from the flight log, some judge. So that came out like a year ago. But back when it was leaked and people were talking about it, they scrubbed his Wikipedia page and everything. Yeah. So uh, just so people realize about this, it was Tom Pritzker who founded the Pritzko, Pritzker Neuropsychiatric Disorders Research Consortium, a research effort into the genetic basis of psychiatric disorders. This, it, to me, this bothers me as a psych nurse because it, throughout the history of uh, mental health, really, you know, because it has that dark past, you you have predatory types, and um, that that people who are suffering will really trust. And that's and I and I'd, I've seen you know there's not a lot of them I mean not that I've worked with but there's a few you know like here in, like I've mentioned <laughs> they seem to gravitate towards psych for whatever reason yet they're just so Pritzker and this whole thing is disturbing to me because number one of Tom Pritzker obviously on the island okay there's no doubt about that. Okay, he created this. Okay, so they don't even want to address their own psychiatric disorders with uh, the pedophilia, okay? The other one they don't want to deal with is that, I don't know, who is it? I always forget. Is it also another cousin or brother of uh, Governor Pritzker's that is transgender, okay? Um, so they don't even want to deal with their own... And the, the you know, the body... Like, I'm all for whatever you want your body to look like, but it was extremely upsetting to many Illinoisans um, to listen to Governor Pritzker during COVID talk about how we must stay healthy and safe. Have you seen him lately? It's, I'm sure he just empties out the Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know. Like, it's just, it, it's just like, so them being involved in any of this is like not good. I see it as predatory, wanting to know people's genetic makeup, like all this stuff with the gene. These people are certifiably insane. And, and believe me, this isn't just, he's, that man, that governor, he's implemented the worst things in school because the transgender stuff came from the Pritzker family. Yes, it did. That's where it all started. Yeah, they're from Kiev, Ukraine, too. Um, but no, he's, I mean, like he, you know, wrote it into law, basically, in the kindergarten classrooms. He's caused such a nightmare here in every way. Okay, so this is, and he owns everything in Chicago. Talk about a conflict of interest. He does. Everything's under his name. Yep, see, I mean, those are the universities, but... Pritzker School of Medi Medicine, Pritzker Architect. I, I went over in a video, it was a long time ago, I don't think it's on this TikTok channel, everything that he owns, from land to museums, uh, his name is outside the law department at Northwestern, his name, uh, Pritzker School of Medicine at University of Chicago, uh, University of Illinois, Chicago, I think he's on something there. I mean, everywhere, everywhere to Millennial Park, like everything. And now this, yeah. That's, it, that's why, I, yeah, I don't trust any of the universities anymore. So I'll just tell you about the Neuropsychiatric Disorders Research Consortium, what they seek to do. Uh, they seek to discover the neurobiological and genetic causes of three major psychiatric disorders, major depressive disorder, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia. The Pritzker Consortium also seeks to identify biomarkers and nerve novel targets for drug development. The consortium conducts studies to identify genetic 
alterations in brain circuits associated with mood disorders and consists of investigators involved in all aspects of the scientific process. What? What? The scientific process, the, the scientific process is based on evidence. You, you're you in with this, you know, Pritzker neuropsychiatric place. They do, They have a mental disorder. They do. They have Tom Pritzker who's the pedophile because he's been, he was on Epstein Island. Only one reason, everybody knows that's only one reason you go there. And he was numero uno in Jeffrey Epstein's black book. Okay, so there's clearly some problems with this family. And then you have the other one. Okay, like, like even though people don't like to say it, and I don't care what adults want to do, but because it's the Pritzker family, I will say it. You have that dude that's running around pretending he's a girl. And I really think they did it just to mess. Because now, because when Pritzker pushed it into the schools because it all started with them, I was just like, oh, this is predatory behavior. Totally grooming. I mean, I think we were the first state that had the, dra uh, the drag queens in, in the, the kindergarten classrooms doing story t or a uh, drag time story hour. The consortium, uh, let me see, where did I leave off here? Genetics, uh, clinical research. So the multidimensional approach is also, the multidimensional approach is also bi-directional in that the research process starts with human post mortem brain tissue proceeds to animal models and circles back to individuals with psychiatric disorders to translate our knowledge into benefits for patients. Yeah, these are typ the typical predators. Seriously, because they're not, Pritzker doesn't even care what he does to children. He, but the, but if, if you look at history, it's always these type people, like in the Holocaust, they did this. They, they, they go after those that are weaker, with, with disabilities, with mental disorders. And this is how they bring it. Pritzker, this is ridiculous, okay? The Pritzker Consortium has made several significant accomplishments that fuel the translational approach to discover biomarker markers and novel targets for the treatment of psychiatric disorders. That's just, it's like, blah, blah, blah. Does it, they, they, this is what I mean. They write all this stuff and they're really not saying anything at all. The consortium consists of a, com, of a community of over a hundred scientists. What's wrong with you people? Do you know who Governor Pritzker is? Ugh. Do you care about your reputation? A hundred scientists across five institutions performing collaborative research using state-of-the-art techniques to tackle psychiatric disorders. The consortium has the infrastructure for clinical neuroimaging and phenotyping studies, brain and blood collection, neuroanonymical studies, gene expression, uh, genotyping studies, and bioinformatics, as well as animal studies in rodents and non-human primates. Can you start, you know what, with the humans? Start with the Pritzkers. Yeah. If you have to tie them down, do that. Uh, that's really where, don't, don't mess with these people. Don't mess with the community of mental health. Leave these people alone, okay? This is all about you just wanting to do more, re have research subjects. I think the science has had enough time to research. Leave everybody the hell alone, okay? And to end here, this was on uh, Pritzker's site too. And at the bottom of it, you start reading it and it says to read the rest of the article, go to World Economic Forum, yep really for healthcare workers. Yeah, a, a new digital tool is helping healthcare workers manage their mental health. I wouldn't trust any, you don't know where this data is going. No, don't. You know what, and, and plus you don't need a computer. It's, it's like, it's basically doing like an assessment on you. You answer all these questions once a week. Yeah, and then what? Oh, they can get you in touch right away with the emergency um, social worker or something like that. I, I wouldn't trust any, you know what, we need to get back to care. But as long as we have the uncaring people running everything, then we won't be in a place of care.